<laughs> well, all right. All five of you that are still watching Almost Perfect <laughs> product review channel. Uh, if you stumbled here by mistake, stick around. Maybe, you know, I'll say something stupid and you can laugh at me. Um, <laughs> today we have more stuff for departmental regulations. Departmental regs. I don't I don't even know, man. Departmental regs. We're going to have to have like a little metal intro theme song or something like that. So today for departmental regs on Almost Perfect, we have Flying Cross Brand Deluxe Tactical because all of us could just be more tactical, right? We, we all need that deluxe tactical, uh, like a premium tactical uh, <laughs> upgrade for our life. Not just regular tactical. This isn't just regular tactical. This is deluxe tactical. <laughs> All right, enough enough about that. So deluxe tactical uh, flying cross pants and short sleeve shirt. Uh, of course, in the LAPD Navy, which we're going to have a whole talk about that on the uh, on the blog. So here is the shirt. Let's start off with the shirt. We have functional epaulets with microphone cord. You know, you've got your whole wiring pass-through system. Uh, you have your shorter than usual sleeve length, which I really appreciate. I, you'll have to check the blog. You'll have to see pictures of me in it, uh, as opposed to the regular flying cross uniform that I have. Uh, I appreciate the shorter sleeve length. Maybe it's because I'm a tiny dude who with short you know <laughs> little t-rex arms i don't know but the shorter sleeve length makes it looks not look nicer i think instead of coming down to your elbow you've got the badge sling of course everybody's got their badge sling you do not have napoleon pockets so flying cross i've noticed really doesn't do napoleon pockets that's fine more power too i don't mind uh i don't really use them so You've got your pass-through system here. You've got your integrated pin pocket. Oh, that seems a little tighter than usual, but that's fine. So you've got your integrated pin pocket there. You've got your regular pocket there. You have your faux buttons. Now, speaking of faux buttons, or fake buttons for the rest of America, what, you don't have the placket on this one. You don't have the zipper placket. So if you're going, if you're looking at the deluxe tactical shirt uh, for Flying Cross, be aware it is a traditional actual button shirt. You know, it is, I, I was shocked. Like the last, you know, handful of years, two handfuls of years, <laughs> all the uniforms I've been issued or I've picked up have had the zippered placket front. Uh, so I was just a little shocked that I would actually have to start buttoning up my uniform in the mornings instead of just that quick zip. So here's the other pocket, of course, no integrated pin pocket on that side. There's really nothing different over here. I'm not, I'm showing you the other side just to kind of wave it around at you. Now, uh, the deluxe tactical, if you get a real good look at the fabric there, is kind of like the brushed cotton look it does not have the square kind of rip stop look on it so uh it does not have a lot of give there's a tiny tiny bit of stretch there but not a lot uh it has the underarms are the same fabric there's no you know mesh panels anywhere we're not looking at any of the, the stretch rayon uh, panels to help you vent. We are looking at the permanent creases though. They are not, strangely enough, they are not stitched. So the military creases on the back and front of the uniform are not stitched. They use the permanent creasing method instead. So be aware of that. If you don't like that if you prefer the stitched then you know this uniform probably isn't for you 
Now, let's take a look at these pants. I was excited for these pants until I was disappointed by these pants. You can see here it says 34 reg. That is pretty much my pants size. I'm actually like a 34, 35. I usually size down in anything that has a flex waistband so that you know I can get that whole kind of dialed in, locked in fit. On the website, these were said to have that dialed in wisp. And as a matter of fact, they actually freedom fit. They say that they have the freedom fit. Now, you can see I haven't removed the tags from these guys. This is the first thing we're going to look at is where is this freedom fit? Like, is it, you know, this, this, look, this, that stretches. This does not stretch. This has no freedom fits. This, there is no freedom fit in this. Not only that, this was not a 34. These were like a, a 30, 31, <laughs> maybe a 32. The way that they fit was ridiculous. So I've not taken the tags off of them. I am sending them back. We are going to get this figured out. Me and uh, Fetchheimer. Me. <laughs> <laughs> me and flying cross we're gonna get this figured out we're gonna get the pants that fit we're gonna have this uniform so you can see here super crease also again and lycra like here you go no freedom fits they lied about the freedom fit we're that's the first you know thing we're gonna point out there but so we have a single hook and loop closure there we've got of course the French button down and keep your keep your stuff buttoned down. We got the zippered fly. Now I don't know what it is about the tactical kind of stuff, the uh, you know, the athletic stuff. You know, and the the pants for people that actually move around and do things always have this you know kind of standard, maybe even a little short <laughs> zipper. My other pants, my my departmental issued pants, are flying cross, and they have a zipper that I swear to God goes like all the way down to there. And that's a great zipper, because when you've got to hit the head <laughs> and you, you've got all that duty gear on and everything, but you just, you know, gotta take a quick tinkle, as my grandmother would say, then uh, yeah, that zipper's great. These zippers, like, yeah, sure, whatever. They're regular zippers. The other zippers are, are better. Let's move to those zippers. How about we do that, huh? You know, for anybody, <laughs> for, for any corporation watching these videos, for any of these, you know, guys that have been doing this business for 60 years or whatever, let's all make those zippers. Listen to this one guy who's made like a handful of videos in the year 2021. Let's, let's listen to his opinions. <laughs> so on the back, you can see we've got the tab over the pocket and back pockets, standard kind of stuff. We've got, you know, slash front pockets there nice and deep the uh i don't know again if this is just me or, or or what but flying cross uses this i don't know what fabric this is but if you put anything with like even just kind of a rough edge in here it starts tearing up your pockets i don't know i don't know if that's them or if it's, that's me i don't know what's going on there so there you go there is the Tactical Deluxe uh, short sleeve shirt and pants from Flying Cross. Now, like I said, I still got the tags on this guy, so I can put them back in the bag and contact Flying Cross and get the ones that fit. So just be just be aware that if you order the pants, they might not have the Freedom Flex, <laughs> and they might also be just weirdly sized. And you might, you know, end up sending them back and having to deal with all that. There you go. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, I, I hate promoting myself. Uh, but if, if you've enjoyed it, I guess, you know, maybe hit the blog. You can see some photos of me looking ridiculous and all this gear and everything. And uh, 
or maybe just hit the thumbs up button. I don't know how YouTube does any of their stuff and I don't really care. I'm just doing this so that everybody can get an idea about these products. There's not a lot of reviews about them, but you know, I hunt down this stuff uh, and I hunt down reviews for it and I come up empty. So I just want other people to be aware of what they're getting into. All right, take care of yourselves.